Hey gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for always supporting me. Don't mind my skin and the hat and the chilled vibes. I was like, every la like the last couple of videos I've wore makeup and like we're doing like two videos a week at the minute. And I barely wear makeup, bear in mind. Like when I go out, I wear makeup. And if I feel like just like giving myself a little pamper, I will. But like day to day, I am in leggings, cap no makeup vibes and i think with the weather change wearing more makeup my skin is a little bit like hating on me so under this hat this forehead is just got some painful spots like not complaining but i'm just thinking if people are watching that mm, she looks a bit of a catfish yeah this is the real me this is what i look like on a day to day but obviously your gal likes to put makeup on and do her hair too so this is the last home bargains video i'm gonna do for a while not forever because we love home bargains but i feel like we did christmas part one christmas part two and then when i went in to do it i did do a general like home stuff and cleaning so i thought this video is going to be a home bargains cleaning and home video we're just showing you what they've got in at the minute they've always got stuff i need in my life some would say that i don't need but i do so as you can see from these two ginormous bags we have and then there's some bits on the floor over there i haven't got my fabulous assistant today because jordan's painting so i'm gonna put the prices on the screen because i don't have jordan telling me them basically off the receipt um so yeah let's go let's get straight on first oh i don't know where to start because i've got some good stuff we'll go for this bag so first I saw this. This is a decorative glass jar, but as you can see, it's got marshmallows in. And I just thought, like marshmallows, hot chocolate. I'm trying to think of something else to put with hot chocolate. Oh, I can't think. Sugar, maybe. Um, I just thought that was really cute. And as you've seen from my own videos, I am a hot chocolate addict. So I thought this could add to the hot chocolate collection and look cute. Or maybe we do sweets. Let's get it out. Let's see what this looks like in real life. See, all these bits I want to save for the hopefully soon to be new house. Um, and I'm kind of just like bottom drawing stuff, if that makes sense. I never knew that what that meant until I was moving house. But um, yeah, I keep buying like, we don't need that much to move to be fair. But I'm just adding some stuff so that we have got new bits. Um, because when we moved in this house, we actually didn't have a lot of new stuff. 90% um, I would say was second hand or um, like my family had given it me. Like my auntie was moving back to Corfu at the time and she gave us quite a bit of stuff that she wasn't gonna take. Um, I don't think I don't think any like new things was I had a new bed. I was so excited for this bed. I remember we got it from Next. It's not this one, it's the one we had before. And then like I financed it and I was like so happy that they'd accepted me and we could have this really nice bed. And then I remember just buying like new toilet bits. But like everything else was like secondhand, so I keep putting stuff away for the new house. How cute is that? That is so cute. Do you know what you could even I don't know if you would, but like put jewellery in it. You could do like necklaces, rings, earrings kind of thing or bracelets and have it like on your dressing table or in a dressing room. That would look really cute. Um, but yeah, I feel like maybe even sweets. I think I'm going to do like a sweet theme or maybe my hot chocolate obsession will continue. But yeah, love that. So yeah, I will pop price on. But what I love, that nearly hit me. Um, what I love is that like you get really pretty things like this and the prices just aren't that bad. Whereas like other shops, I feel like this would be double the price and it's exactly the same. And that's one of my favourite things about Home Bargains is that you can buy things that are just as good but half the price. See, this bag's more cleaning but that was in there. Let's just show some of the stuff I got. I grabbed this. Reviving epsom bath salts my mum buys this west lab salts all the time and i just thought i saw it and i just thought yeah it says like soothes and relax muscles so i thought after i've been in the gym even though i haven't been for two weeks because we've been trying to decorate this house oh, is he a jordan's car 
Um, I thought I wanted to try these because I feel like people rave about them. Then I grabbed this Bin Bright. Have you seen the other brand? I can't remember his name is now. I say he. I think it's like Bin Buddy or something. This is a bigger and cheaper version basically. And I'll try anything. This is a Berry Blast. Do you know what? I ain't even opened it. Oh my god, imagine me opening it. It just goes everywhere. Oh, this one's so good. It actually smells like a bath bomb. Obviously it's for your bin, so it needs to smell pretty nice. But yeah, I picked that up because I've never seen this brand before. Then I grabbed Carpet Fresh, the pet one, in the Thai Orchid and Passion Fruit. This is my all-time favourite one. I think it smells amazing. And I've been using this for years, 101. I just feel like, especially when you've got dogs and kids and 40 boyfriends, this is great. I spray it all the time, like not so much downstairs near Sunny, um, because I try and be really careful with products around her because she's quite allergy prone, like her mum, like me, basically. They say owners are like the pets. Um, but for upstairs, for carpet spraying, we haven't actually got any carpets downstairs anymore. So, yeah, grab that. Then I picked up the Febreze Zero Percent. This is a zero percent gas, no heavy perfumes, air mist. So with this, you buy the bottle and then you just keep refilling it. So it's um, less plastic going to waste. Um, I feel like people, someone may jump on this video and be like, wow, there's a lot of plastic. But like, I do use a lot of bottles like i reuse bottles for anything i can find if i need a water bottle like a, just a bottle with water spraying for plants i'll reuse it um this is a refillable one well the lid will be refillable um so yeah when i see something that is better for the environment i do try and get them this bubble in my wrist is irritating me then i have not been able to find aces products anywhere and i love aces um i just think for stains and like white tops and marks and this is the best stain remover but i also think do your research because i did bleach top the other week and ruined it by accident and i can't remember how i did it but it was purely my fault um but if you've got like white socks like i used to throw away white socks all the time if they were like black do you know when they just kids get their socks just like black and now i just put them all in the sink with hot water and aces actually gets them nice Whereas before, I'd be re-washing, re them and I just could not get them back white. And then I'd be like, oh, I'll just nip to Primark and get some new ones. Whereas now I'm like, no. This. This gets... Oh my gosh, why has the packaging gone all... It did rain when we were buying this, I think. Well, yeah. The packaging has actually come off. I feel like I may have picked it up like this. But this Aces in this bottle, 10 out of 10. I just wanted to smell it just in case like it leaked. I don't know what's gone on here. So the label's come off, but Aces for Whites, if you want your socks back white, this stuff is 10 out of 10. And then I've not tried this one before that I just pulled out. This says Aces for Colours Stain Remover, and I thought I'd try that because kids, I say kids actually, Jordan spills food on himself every time he, we go for a meal or every time we sit down at the table, there's food on him. And then lastly, with Aces, I grabbed the colour stain remover. For things like Marley's uniform, please, please do your research. I don't want you to ruin any of your clothes and be like, Chloe, you lied. But normally, this gets stains out of his uniform. It says, remove stains, safe on coloured and delicate, removes odours as well. It's a, active at 30 degrees. So yeah, for uniform, I always go for this. Then, I picked up... Christmas is here guys and I know I've done two Christmas vlogs already but I wanted some Christmas scents so I picked up the winter spice this is my mum's worst nightmare we're opposites for scents so I love like cinnamony things and it makes my mum feel sick that's that smells amazing what's in this cinnamon I feel like it's got like orange extracts but yeah 24 hour fragrance I just feel like it's a flora sprays are just 10 out of 10. I love the breeze as well, but I wanted to try a new scent. Then 
I've already spoke about the ears stuff, but oh, so this one's aqua and this one's orchid. This one's more of a flowery smell and this one's more of like a fresh outdoorsy smell. So yeah, I love them. Then I grabbed the blue foam amore. This is just a toilet cleaner. Um, I think Mrs. Hinch used to use this and that's why I got on, the, like jumped on the high. And now I'm kind of like obsessed. This is the Ocean Mist. It smells, I don't really want to open it when I'm sat on my bed because I'm already getting stuff on me. This has a new formula one, but it smells so good and I just feel like my toilet, it makes the room smell good and the toilet clean. Then we grabbed, grabbed myself some deodorant because I prefer roll on, but if I've got a night out recently, I've been doing roll on and then spray. So I just grabbed this one, just a Nivea black and white. And I keep using Jordan's and he hates me for it. So I grabbed my own. Next. Thank you. Next. I got some got to be twisted curling moves for crazy styles. I don't know what I'm doing with this. So basically, my mum used to wear mousse in a hair all the time growing up. Like, I, there was always mousse in the house. And, like, I love the slick back look. Like, full on. And then I saw a girl the other day do just, like, a layer of mousse over her head and then slicked it all back and it looked perfect. And I was a bit like, is mousse for that? I thought mousse was curling your hair. So that's why I bought it to try it out and seeing how it says different, different curls on the side. Yeah, I don't think I've ever worn mousse. Maybe when I was a little kid copying my mum. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd try it out. And I feel like Got To Be is a good brand. Then I picked up the, there's literally weird stuff on them from that packaging that's like peeled off. Then I got the Got To Be Beach Matte Textured Salting Spray for Mermaid Style. I love a mermaid style. So I just thought that'd be good to have in if I need to um, give a little vroom vroom. And then lastly, with the hair products, yeah. Um, the water resistant spiking gel for screaming hold. It's got to be glue. I've already got the black colored one. This is the yellow one. I don't really know the difference, but I wanted to pick it up and try it. Um, I'm just hoping, because the black one, it doesn't like leave any. Do you know sometimes when you put like a gel on your hair to slick it back, it leaves like a white shine to it. And the black one doesn't, so I'm really hoping the yellow one doesn't. I just really don't know the difference. Oh, this one isn't see-through. It's like a white texture, whereas the other one is clear. We will see. It's wind tunnel tested. I will be the judge of that. Then I picked up some Fruity Fantasy. These are... How do I explain what they are? They're for your toilet and I love these. I'm a big, well, I feel like a lot of people are, but I'm a big fan of a clean toilet. Like I like my toilet. I want you to walk into my bathroom and all you smell is fragrance. Like I just don't like the thought of someone going in and being like, Ooh. like, and I don't like bleachy smells either. Like I don't really like when I put bleach in the toilet, the smell of bleach, I'd rather I bleach leave that to like do its course and then I'll be putting smellies in to make it smell better like so so yeah this is you basically it's got an applicator I feel like I'm telling people like people might already know this and be like everyone knows that but then some people might not because I only found out what these were like a two years ago my mum always had the hook on ones but yeah you basically put the applicator in take the lid off and then you push the button push it on the side of your loo and it gives you like this flower thing that smells great. So I grabbed a new one of these because I'd run out. And this scent I've never had before. Oh god, it smells really good. I don't know much why it smells this good. Fruity Fantasy, Orange Blossom, Peach and Mandarin. This is one starter back, one refill. So I'm a little bit annoyed at myself now because I already have one of these and I didn't realise you could buy packs of just the refills. So I'll be looking out for them next time. Then I grabbed um, a plug-in refill and I I always have the Febreze one, but this was just like a lot cheaper. I don't know this brand, it says perfect scent in Mystic 
Japan, three cent refill, 90 days, and I thought, this is half the price, I'll buy you. So I grabbed the refill for that, and um, they had all different scents, and it was quite a lot cheaper, actually. Next, I grabbed these. So these, I don't really know what, oh, I don't really know what these are, but I've seen people use them. So this brand is called Pop. This one's Oasis Sparse, and it's a sponge filled with soap. And this one's Ocean Spray. Lather over the body, rinse well, avoid contact with eyes. Yeah. Um, but basically, I think that's a sponge filled with soap. And like when you squeeze it, all the soap like comes out. Um, just says handmade, vegan friendly. And I was like, okay. I haven't even opened them to smell them, but I really want to try this. Oh, that smells nice. I want just feel like a sponge, just a hard one. I'm guessing that you put it in the water and it goes really soft. Let's smell the green one. I prefer the ocean one, the blue one. But that smells nice too. And they weren't very expensive, but I thought that's a cute idea because I love a sponge. Like I like to like lather my body in soap. Then I picked up some of these this is what i mean people are gonna go this girl's got like a cleaning bathroom obsession so these are the frosted berries the bathroom air fresheners if you have not tried these trust me they are incredible oh it's got a tester oh it smells nice nice and it's like up to 90 days so we've got i like the fact that they come in packs of two because we've got an upstairs and a downstairs bathroom so i don't have to um by two yeah prevents odors love these i always use them then i grabbed another scent didn't realize i did this is mountain air and the one i normally buy from febreze is like this kind of idea like fresh air outside so i'm hoping it will smell very similar then i picked up these um i picked up a more expensive one and then a cheaper version and they are shampoo bars. I have never seen these, ever. And I was like, what? Amazing. Zero plastic waste. So I'm guessing you wet it and rub it in your hair and it's just like shampoo in a bar. So this is the Garnier one and I love Garnier as a brand. Um, I didn't even smell it. Oh, it smells really strong actually to say I thought it wasn't going to be oh it actually has like got a smell tester and it lasts up to two months plant-based softening and this just says delicate oat sensitive scalp and fragile hair well I have both of them because I've got psoriasis so that one and then this one's a shampoo and conditioner bar no plastic waste plant extracts in papaya Ooh, this one's quite nice too this one is more like the smell is like a lot more if that makes sense this one's you really have to get your nose up to it but it was a cheaper brand so i wanted to buy both to compare so i'm excited to use these i feel like i've been living under a rock do you already know about these then basically long story short george had this jumper and i don't know how he managed it but basically Marley's, I buy, I accidentally washed Marley's jacket with this um, like label that you're meant to take off in the wash. And then Jordan ended up leaning on this wet label that then went onto his jumper and I just tried to wash. I tried to bleach with that stuff and yet it wasn't coming out. I, no, it did come out and then it bleached it and it just looked funny. So I decided to put it in with these wash and dye fabrics and it looks sick. Don't get me wrong, it's like he's got an, this another jumper in a different colour. It looks so cool, it's gone grey. And Jordan was like, will you give it another go and basically try and get it black? So that's why we got this, to try and give it another dye. But at the minute it's grey, it looks really cool. I actually prefer it. So we'll see. But yeah, it was my fault. It was his own fault for leaning on it, but it was my fault ruining it. Then i picked up the lenore crease refresher i haven't seen this in the shops for ages like i had this when it came out and then haven't seen it at all and to be fair i don't really use it for creases so much i use it to spray the beds after because it smells incredible in spring awakening but do not spray this like 
near like i've even slipped on carpet if you spray this on like around the room and it goes on your floor it is like a death trap of ice skating like it is makes your floor so slippery it's unbelievable i flew in the air with a wash basket once and was like how has that just happened like this what what have i slipped on and then realized it's this and then i've seen other people say it as well but it smells so good then i picked up some protein cookies these are the salted caramel ones this is usn select high protein cookie um high protein sugar free the salted caramel one is my favorite one and only i only know i only find it in home bargains so yeah absolutely love these and they're not that expensive there either then i picked up another christmas scent uh the Seflora um concentrated multi-purpose disinfectant this is winter morning do you know what i do you know what i think something's spilled in here and i feel like it's the i feel like it might be the sterilizer yes do you know when i first moved in my house i would keep every box they'd have to go back in their box like a pair of trainers whereas now i don't do that because it just takes up too much room let's smell it together it's like christmas in a bottle oh my god i can't wait for my kitchen to smell like this i always put it in the sink with my cloths but speaking of like cloths and cleaning i picked up a new minky set this has got this is a limited edition a mini and a big one and I just, I like, I have mine out on the side, so that's why I go for grey, because it matches my kitchen. These actually feel, like, so much thicker. Or maybe I've just used mine way too much. But even Jordan was like, we definitely need some clean ones and fresh ones of these. Um, so, yeah, we picked these up. I just think Minky is a, is a good... I know, like, Mrs. Hinch, like, spoke about them and they went viral, but I actually really like them. I think that's a, a mixed opinion on them, but I think they're good. Then I picked up some sterilised fluid, sterilising fluid, um, highly concentrated. No, not for babies. I use it to clean my blinds, weirdly enough. Um, if I take my blinds down, my wooden ones downstairs, put them in the bath, put them with this, warm water, leave them to soak. Um, not actually wooden. I don't know what material they are because they don't normally wood, but obviously like soak it up and ruin them, but they don't. Um, and it just makes them come really clean. I'll put a bit of this on a cloth and wipe down the blinds and it just comes out nice there was something else i used it for in the sink and i can't remember but i always just like to have a bottle of the same then i grabbed oh, this christmas addiction um cranberry and orange the flora it's got snow on it so it does it is a christmas one it says seasonal scent and i only bought this because i'm trying not to like i know i feel like actually no i haven't um I used to, if I went in and saw a scent, I didn't have a blah, 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 clean, like anything, I would buy, I needed it, I needed it, it was like an addiction, um, and now at the point, I won't buy a new bottle till I've emptied a bottle, and I've literally emptied a bottle this week of Sephora, and this is one of my favourite wipe down sprays, so, um, yeah, I thought, you're new, I need one of you, you're coming home with me. And then in this bag, lastly, I just bought some carpet stain remover, Dr. Beckman, best carpet cleaner ever. Always have this in just in case. I feel like when you've got kids or even like makeup, like it's good to have this in. I just feel like it gets out the stains straight away. And that was, that is that bag. And I'm just going to put the whole bag in the bag. Bag number two. What did I pick up? I picked up, oh, an... Osmo fridge odour scent. Grabbed one of them just because this is a new one and it's a lot bigger. So I thought I'd grab one of them because I always like to have something like this in the fridge. If not, I do half a lemon, but saw this and thought I'd try it. So this bag is more homely. So that bag is cleaning beauty more so. And then this side's more home. So I got this diffuser. I just thought it was nice. It's like a grey creamy colour. Um I just thought for when we move house, this is a nice little add-on for a shelf. Um, this is the home collection. And I just thought it was a nice, nice little touch. Cute, pretty. And especially, I'm trying not to go so 
I don't want to go really grey in the next house. I want to go, my friend Ellie calls it greyish, so like a grey and beige mix. So I thought that was nice because that's a bit of a mix. So then I picked up this. I feel like I could have put this in the Christmas vlog. I'm not going to lie because it has got like reindeers on it. But I just thought, you know what, I'd use this all year round. And I've never had one and I've always wanted one. But like the ones I've always looked at have been so expensive. And I saw this and just thought, you know what, you'll you'll do the job and look cute with like a bottle of wine, Prosecco, champagne in. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I grabbed that. I thought that was really cute. Did my mum get one as well? I feel like my mum picked one up as well. Yeah, I think it was like less than a tenner as well. Then I saw this medical clear tape. And I bought this for makeup reasons, to do like eyeliner, to try it out. Because I used to always use this because you can make it as thin and thick as you want. It like, you can peel it one way and then peel it the other way. But yeah, I grabbed some of that just so for my eyeliner because it was cheap. And I thought, we'll see if you still work as well as you used to. There is some cleaning stuff in there that I didn't realise. So I picked up, this isn't, I bought this because it was new. And I know I'm saying I don't try new things, but I kind of saw it and thought, mm, that'll be good in the video. Um, this is a foam toilet cleaner and obviously I've got the blue one already but I've got an upstairs and a downstairs so I thought one will be for upstairs, one will be for downstairs um, and this is Berry Blast I don't know how I feel about that like it doesn't smell bad it's just super strong and obviously I like strong but I don't know if it's got like a bit of a bleachy smell to it we'll see that's the elbow grease one so that's a new one just say new on it then i grabbed oh, the unstoppables these are the cardboard packaging which i love because it's recyclable um i always go for the fresh or like a spring awakening kind of smell um i think they're quite expensive i do think unstoppables are quite pricey they are really good my bed i always use them for my bedding and it just make your clothes smell amazing it says shake and sniff it does smell really good and you can smell it through the top um but i just bought two because i have a container and to fill it up and i think marley plays football now and stuff so I just feel like these things really help with smelly football kits and smelly football boots. So yeah, I grabbed two of them. But I always, the blue is my favourite. It is. Then I picked up this. So I have jars like this, but quite a bit smaller. And I want to do, oh my God, not smash it. I want to do the Chloe Kardashian vibe. I'm going to fill this with Oreos to the top when we move house and have it in the kitchen corner. I'm just going to do it and I don't feel bad for it. And no one's going to stop me. And I'm so excited. But yeah, I just thought for the price, for a nice big thick glass, like it's not cheap. Do you know what I mean? It's not thin and cheap, which I like. Oh, I just think it was a good size and I can just see all my cookies in here and be not Chloe Kardashian, but Chloe Patton then when i said about the unstoppable i have containers they finally oh i feel like it's so dusty because i've left them um they finally have more of these these sold out last year and i could not get any more um and i saw they do pink lids gray lids i think that's it but yeah i saw two white lid ones i was like you're coming home with me i used them for so much i have them for pasta flour so I, and i have them all labeled on the front so when I saw two white ones, I was like, I need them because which one broke? One that I had before broke, so I need a new one. Couldn't get it because it was sold out. So I grabbed two of these. So handy. And they do different sizes as well. But I think this is like, they do like a smaller one. I'm sure they do a thinner one, but I like that size. Then I saw these, which are normally so expensive because I actually bought some of these for my candle business. Um, and they cost quite a lot. I ended up getting them from Primark and they were cheaper at Primark, but to get them was, they were just like dots. Like they were gone as soon as they went on the shelf. So I saw these, um, small foldable baskets. So cute in this purple colour. So I got three and I thought I could stack them um for when we move for the office hopefully so yeah i picked up these three they did have other colors but they only had one of like they had like a yellow on its own um 
like an orange on its own, but I don't, I think it was an orange, it was definitely a yellow anyway, because I wanted to get some from Arlie Drew, but um, they didn't have, they only had one yellow and I would have wanted three yellows. I grabbed this cute mask for my friend's little girl for Christmas. I long for this facial mask, um, and because she's only young, I thought this would be cute, it's got a drop on it, but I'm telling you now, it's going to be one of them masks that you put on and it looks nothing like what you think it's gonna look like like have you seen the princess ones when you put them on it literally looks like you're a monster um so yeah i just picked that up for her then did i need it probably not but it's gonna live in the new house same again like the other one a glass um a glass jar and i'm gonna put sweets in this one i think that's my plan um, I don't, I'm not going to get this one out but it's basically the same but thicker with two tiers and it was the last one on the shelf and the prices that they are are just so much cheaper than everyone else I was like I need it, I will find a home for it it says can store cakes, sweets, pastries maybe we'll do pastries I just love the idea of it I just love glass things I've gone off mirrored stuff a bit more I was like, obsessed with mirrored stuff whereas now I'm more into glass okay so they, them two bags are done so the last bits I got was I grabbed this HD smart Wi-Fi camera. I was literally just about to buy one on Amazon. It's just so I can keep an eye on Sunny if we nip out. So I grabbed that camera. I just liked it because I feel like it's simple. I didn't want like one of these really techy cameras. It's just a simple camera and it's got night vision and motion detective. So I was chuffed with that. It was like the last one on the show. And then I treated myself to a key ring that has a C on it that was in the kids section. And if you know me, you will know my car keys never get lost because they are so dramatic. They have loads of stuff on. So yeah, I bought that to add to the collection. Even though it's so annoying because I went to a Christmas market and bought one like the day after. But oh well. This is my little love hearts and it's cute. The other one's cute as well. So, and then last but, no, not last but not least, second to last but not least, I picked up these baskets, these knitted baskets. I thought for Marley's room when we move, for like his teddies, I just thought they were really cute. I like the knitted effect of them, and the fact that they come with two was a bonus. And this is also in the home collection. And then last but not least, this is kind of Christmassy maybe, but medium star lantern. It was the last one and I just thought, love you, you're cute, you're coming home. And I kind of thought maybe it'll go outside. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Um, but I like the idea that it's a star shape and it's a good size and it was not a bad price. So yeah, that is everything I picked up from my home bargains, home cleaning and beauty haul. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below what you'd like to see next. If you've tried any of these products that I haven't tried, let me know what you think. Please subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for supporting me. Bye guys.